Noah Purifoy's recycled desert sculptures are welcoming to any visitor who may stumble upon them. This jigsaw puzzled mousetrap game develops imagination's true wonder. Occupying 10 acres of the Mojave Desert in Joshua Tree, California, one is sure to enjoy this artistic mirage. His unused palette can be found scattered lying behind and inside the many corky sculpted grounds. Donated material and found odds and ends lay about like half-used paint cans and gesso canvas. The environment is a garden of thinking and looking machines, hard and soft on the eyes and mind. Windswept robot-like sculptures lay knocked over from a war fought many moons ago. While cactus and other plant life weave about to remind us this war is eternal. Here, light and shadow play off the tricks of the land and sky. Like a drawing, we are reminded that the light cannot be without the dark. Noah Purifoy was born August 17, 1917, in Snow Hill, Alabama. In 1939, he would earn a BS in social work at Alabama State Teachers College. From 1932 to 1942, Noah would teach woodshop at a high school, later enlisting in the Navy during World War II. He would then go back to school at Atlanta University to receive a MSW in social work. Here he would work as a social worker in Cleveland and Los Angeles. Quitting his job frustrated, Noah would return to school, this time enrolling at the Chinnerard School of Art. He would receive a BA of Art in 1954. In 1960, Purifoy co-founded and directed the Watts Towers Art Center. In 1966 to 1968, 66 Signs of Neon toured nine California universities. The show is made up of burnt wood and neon signs that had been aftermath of the Watts riots in 1965. In 1976, Purefoy became a founding member of the California Arts Council, serving 11 years. Here, he used his social working skills to design, administer, and fun artists of all walks of life. In 1987, a move from LA to Joshua Tree would be put into motion. His outdoor earth sculptures became a public success and toured nationally as a retrospective titled Outside and in the Open. Here, you can walk directly into this amazing artistic canvas. March 5th, 2004, at age 86, Noah Purifoy moved out of the physical world. His vision will continue to change with us and the landscape. We here at Welcome Back continue to find inspiration, delight, and wonder in the dream. It sure is good to stop and take a look around. Thanks so much for sharing, Noah.